Hold your head as high as you can, high enough to see who you are. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Black Gold. Thank you for coming to my channel. I am going to talk today about Alzheimer's. This month is June. Go purple. So hashtag go purple, hashtag and ALZ, that's in Alzheimer's. Um, I want to talk about that because June is Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month. So my mom, um, wonderful woman, she suffered from Alzheimer's, uh, dementia first. My mother had bone cancer, so I do believe a lot of her memory loss came from some of the medicine that she had to take for bone cancer. Um, but nevertheless, I was her 24-hour caregiver. Um, while she was suffering from dementia and Alzheimer's. Um, and it was a hard job, but it's um, it's not an easy job, but I would not have uh, done it any other way. I'm so glad that I was able to take care of her before she left uh, me here on this earth. And um, so let me show you my shirt. Some people never meet their hero. Mind Raise Me, Alzheimer's Awareness. Um, that is just what I want to bring to you today with this video. Um, just in case as well, if you know of anyone that's suffering from dementia or Alzheimer's, there are uh, ways you can support or be an advocate for that. I went to ALZ.org. They are doing a walk. It's the walk to end Alzheimer's. So excuse me if I look down. I have written down some things that I didn't want to forget. Um, I live in Maryland, as you all, I've said it before in videos, and I'm sorry. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, thank you for coming. I hope that you would subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified of my other upcoming videos. Uh, but if you are already a subscriber, you know I thank you all the time. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your support whether you're new or you're um, one of my old, you know, old subscribers, because you could be doing anything else with this time I'm taking up of yours. So thank you. Uh, but let me get back to the walk to end Alzheimer's. They are two mile walks that Alzheimer's Association is going to be doing all across the United States. So that's definitely a way that anybody can get out there to support Alzheimer's. Um, I looked up here in Maryland, the walks that are coming. The first walk will be on September 22nd, 2018 at Centennial Park in Ellicott City, Maryland, a beautiful park. So I definitely want to get my boys and I registered for that so we can be out there walking. There's also going to be a walk at the National Harbor, which is in Prince George's County on September 29th, 2018. Um, and that's a beautiful area as well. If you've never been to the National Harbor and you're here in Maryland, you may want to sign up for that because you'll be right there and all that excitement of the uh, shopping outlets, the big old Ferris wheel, the restaurants, the shops, uh, the MGM Grand. It's just a wonderful area. A lot of people love to walk in that area. Not only that, um, the bridge is really close. You could walk across the Arlington, uh, Arlington Bridge. So... And then coming up on June 22nd, from 6.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. in Prince George's County, they're doing what's called the Second Annual Memory Lane Bowling Fundraiser. So there are loads of ways to support um, here in Maryland, in my little area. I know that they're doing this all across the United States, so you can definitely support Alzheimer's Awareness um, where you live. Just go to alz.org. There's somewhere you can put in your zip code, and it's going to pull up everything for you. So just to say it one last time, June is Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month. So hashtag go purple. Um, and just want to speak on it again. I, I went through uh, that time of having to take care of my mom, and it's really hard. I have a good friend now who is taking care of her mom who is suffering from dementia. And when I listen to her say some of the things that she goes through, she's like, I don't know what my mom has done with the house phone because <laughs> they can't find the house phone now. Um, and I just, it brings back, you know, I just, it brings, it's, rem it's so reminiscent of what I went through with my mom. Um, and there's all those type of things. I, you know, I, I kept saying to myself, like, where's my mom's dirty clothes? I know she's wearing clothes. Come to find out she was like wearing them and putting them back in her drawer. So there's just these things that you go through with someone who has dementia. Um, them, their clock is like off sometimes. Um, they're up at night when they should be sleeping. My mom used to love rearranging everything, like in the cabinets. 
Um, j they just develop these certain habits that you know they never used to do before. So it's a lot. Um, but I'm glad I'm here. I've been, I went through what I did so I can help support her. And I only, I would encourage you if you're taking care of someone with dementia or Alzheimer's that you reach out to support groups. It is so needed, um, to know that you're not the only one going through that. Cause I especially was in my, um, thirties then when I was taking care of my mom. And I'm, I just always felt like no one else is going through this this age. And that's not true. I ended up finding out there were people that were even younger than I that were caregivers of their parents, you know. Um, I didn't find any support groups that were happening, like, in the evening. That was the only thing I felt like when I was looking for a support group. They were, like, in the day at churches. But um, you have to let people know what you're going through and what's going on. And you never know who else can be going through that situation. So if you feel like you're alone, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm going to put my contact information, my email address in the description box. I would love for you to reach out to me so we can talk about what it is you're going through as a caregiver of someone with Alzheimer's or dementia. If you want to just get some things off your chest, because um, I was my mother's only caregiver. I didn't have assistance from fam other family and um and that's okay. We could talk about that too because I was able to let go of that and start understanding why people couldn't help me in that aspect as well. So please reach out to me if you need it. So with that being said, I would love to talk about this Dollar Tree book that I found. Um, I just thought this was lovely. I um, wish I would have been able to get more than one copy, um, but I only picked up the two that I found. I am going to send this one copy to somebody, and I have one for myself. Why did Coco get to my copy and nibbled on the little end of it? It's okay, though. I'm like, Coco, I bought you a bone. And Coco, my Shizu puppy, still, it was my fault. I shouldn't have had it, like, on the, I had it on the floor, sitting in a little box, and he was able to get to it, so. Um, but this is titled, Before I Forget, Love, Hope, Help, and Acceptance in Our Fight Against Alzheimer's by B. Smith and Dan Gatsby. And this also says with Michael Schneerson. Uh, let me read to you. I want to read to you the insides of this sleeve, the cover, um, so that you can get an idea of what is, uh, you know, the book is about. It originally priced $25. On the back here, it says... Autobiography, personal memoirs, memoir, excuse me. Can you see that? So let me read this to you. That picture, though, on the front is of B. Smith and her husband, Dan Gatsby. And this first part is uh, somewhat of what B. Smith has written in here. It says, I know where I'm going. I'm still myself. I just can't remember things as well as I once did. So on short trips, I work hard not to be confused. I'll say to myself, what are we going to do? How long are we staying? It's like I'm talking to my other self, the self I used to be. She tells me, this is what we need to buy, not that. I'm conscious of that other self guiding me now. All right, so that was her little part out of the book. And so this tells us, it says, restaurateur, magazine publisher, celebrity chef, and nationally known lifestyle maven, B. Smith is struggling at 66 with a tag she never expected to add to that strength. Alzheimer's patient. She's not alone. Every 67 seconds, someone newly develops it, and millions of lives are affected by its aftershocks. B. and her husband, Dan, working with Vanity Fair contributing editor Michael Schneerson, unstintingly share their unfolding story. Part memoir, part caregiver's guide, this work is a unique entry on the Alzheimer's shelf. Crafted in short chapters that interweave their narrative with practical and helpful advice, readers learn about dealing with the day-to-day -day challenges of Alzheimer's, family realities and tensions, ways of coping, and coming research that may tip the scale, as well as lessons learned along the way. At its heart, before I forget, is a love story, illuminating a love of family, life, and hope. This sounds really great. This book sounds totally interesting to me, especially because it was part of my story of my life. Um, and when it says, you know, it talks to you about the challenges of family realities and tensions. I mean, that like is so key to me um, because I think for me, a big part of uh, like my family, I realized in everybody's little way, whether it was my sister, whether it was my aunt, my godmother, whatever, that. 
um, whether it was me, when we were taking care of my mom or me taking care of my mom and then me having that struggle of feeling like, why is nobody else like running to help me? Everybody had to deal with knowing my mother, this woman, this strong woman that they knew for so long, um, like her not being herself anymore. And everybody dealt with that differently in their own way. Some people couldn't deal with that. Um, I realized that my aunt, um, who's my godmother, I call her auntie, you know, um, I realized that she knew my mother the longest. Um, like my, she was one of the first people my mom met when she came here um, to this country from Barbados. And like she had the hardest time um, not having my mom how she knew her for 40 something years, you know, um, shoot 50 something years. So. When I felt like, why is this woman like not running to help me, knowing my mother is not doing well, is because she couldn't, like it was hard for her seeing my mom that way. Um, it was hard for like my sister realizing my mother wasn't that woman that she knew. She looked at, you know, with Alzheimer's, some people can show some aggressive behaviors or say things, like they can become a totally different person and they, they weren't. My mother maybe at first with her disease was um, a little... Just saying what she felt like saying to my sister. My sister couldn't handle that. And um, she was like, your mother is being so mean to me, you know. <laughs> and it was like, what's wrong with you? Because this is not our mom. You know, this is not the person that we knew growing up. Like, get over it. You have to understand that. But some people, um, they just deal with things in their own way. And she helped me in other ways. She helped me materially, making sure my mother had supplies and so on that I needed to take care of her instead of being there every day for her. Um, but, you know, and then for me too, um, I had to learn and realize, like, this is not the woman I knew growing up. This is somebody different. Um, and so, yeah, it, everybody has their own struggle with that. So I can't wait to read this, to read some of the things that, like, they, they titled Family Realities and Tensions because... Um, yeah, you, know, you have to realize you might not be dealing with the same person you always knew, and it's not it's not them. It's the disease. It's it's the Alzheimer's. So, all right, guys, I just wanted to talk to you about that. Talk about June being Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month, and just maybe if there's anything you could do for that, um, whether it was going out there and walk, just donating some money, um, however you may, um, just wearing purple, uh, taking a pause, as the website said. Um, just a moment of silence for 67 seconds because every 67 seconds someone is diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Um, do that. Uh, it's all, you know, in the name of Alzheimer's awareness and it would be so appreciated. Thank you guys so much for letting me talk about this one Dollar Tree book. But stay tight, stay tuned um, because I say stay tight. I always say stay tight. Hold tight. Stay tuned because I am going to do a separate um, haul of some Dollar Tree books and do the same thing, kind of read to you um, what's you know on the sleeve of those books or on the back. Some of them had descriptions on the back. I'm going to do that as well, read that. So thanks very much, y'all. Y'all take, uh, take care of yourselves and have a great one. And yes, rewind the take care of yourself part. If you are a caregiver, caregiver please. Make sure you're taking care of yourself because if you're not taking care of yourself, you will not be able to take care of anybody else. And that is physically, that is mentally, that is spiritually. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. Much love to you. Have an awesome day on Christmas. Oh.